Good afternoon, everyone. Let's pray the angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, by the message of an angel, so by his passion and cross, we may be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let's now begin this Holy Eucharist in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear friends, once again, as we gather around this Eucharistic table to offer this Holy Mass, let's continue to pray for one another, and also we pray for all the medical professionals and the scientists who are really working hard to find some remedies for this pandemic. So we keep them all in our prayers, and also at this difficult time, there are many individuals who go through lots of issues, so we remember them and pray for them that God's healing touch will come upon them. And in order to celebrate this Holy Eucharist in a worthy manner, let's acknowledge our human failures and ask God for his forgiveness and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. I offer this Mass for Daniel Stevenson, who is deceased, and Mario Silvermani, who is deceased. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. If you are led by the Spirit, no law can touch you. When self-indulgence is at work, the results are obvious. Fornication, gross indecency, and sexual irresponsibility. Idolatry and sorcery, feuds and wrangling, jealousy, bad temper and quarrels. Disagreements, factions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and similar things. I warn you, and I, as I warned you before, those who behave like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. What the Spirit brings is very different. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, truthfulness, gentleness, and self-control. 
There can be no law against things like that, of course. You cannot belong to Christ Jesus unless you crucify all self-indulgent passions and desires. Since the Spirit is our life, let us be directed by the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord and who ponders his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so are the wicked, not so. For they, like winnowed chaff, will be driven away by the wind. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep, listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord said to the Pharisees, Alas for you Pharisees, you who pay your teeth of mint and rue, and all sorts of garden herbs, and overlook justice and the love of God. These you should have practiced without leaving the others undone. Alas for you Pharisees, who like taking the seats of honor in the synagogues and being greeted obscurely in the market squares. Alas for you, because you are like unmarked tombs that men walk on without knowing it. A lawyer then spoke up, Master, he said, when you speak like this, you insult us too. Alas for you liars also, he replied, because you load on men burdens that are unendurable, burdens that you yourselves do not move a finger to lift. Dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in the first reading today, St. Paul gives some tips to the community as to where they really stand in terms of their Christian living. And he asks them very, very basic questions, and he is asking, what is the guiding force of your life? Is it either by self-indulgence or is it animated by the Spirit? So what is the guiding force? And the reading talks very clearly you, when my life is led by self-indulgence, then you know all the things that are not really going to bring life into me is, is going to really, really destroy me. But whereas if my life is really guided by the Spirit, the Spirit, when my life is like guided by the Spirit, then there is real love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and gentleness. So the, the, the simple thing that he is asking the community, because you know sometimes when the message is not really kept on doing it, you know then we may tend to for, forget the things that we are really called for. So let's just ask ourselves today: What is the guiding force of my life? Is my life led by self-indulgence or one of the spirit?
blessed are you, Lord, good of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the praise of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit is for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the chorus of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Archbishop, Don, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Daniel and Moro, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-aced eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who is city of apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the risen Lord be with you all. Let's now offer each other God's peace. Peace to you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Keep us peace. Dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but one may say the word, my soul shall be clean. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear friends, go forth. The Mass is ended. Thank you and wish you all a good day.